Bonjour Fabien. Fabien. Bonjour, je suis une interne du docteur Boucher. Bonjour, bonjour à tous. J'espère que tu vas bien. Est-ce que tu nous écoutes? Okay, je, vais vous, je vais vous donner droit pour, par, pour partager votre écran. Mm -hmm. Et puis euh, voilà, c'est tout bon. Je vous laisse pour le Ok. So. Shall we start? Je ne sais pas si Let me put a mask on too. Sorry, cannot hear you. Well. Voilà, je pense que là, normalement, vous pouvez tout participer et vous partager tout votre écran. Mm -hmm. Et euh, vous pouvez demander d'apporter ça, là. Je ne sais pas si vous en avez besoin. D'accord. Ouais. Je l'ai là et puis euh, les étudiants sont en train d'arriver. Okay. Voilà. Au revoir. Alors, euh, bonjour à tous. J'espère que tu vas bien. Euh, nous, voulons, euh, de, nous tenons à vous remercier encore une fois de nous avoir invité à participer à votre master. Now we'll continue in English in order all of our team as well to better understand. And of course, I'm not that well French speaker. Um, alors, um, so, let's start, address. Uh, from our part, we are the DHI Global Medical Group. It's a, our uh, vision, mission is to change the world through hair restoration. And we would like to give you an introduction about what exactly our medical group is focusing during the last uh, 52 years. So I think that, uh, Andreas, we can start on with a short presentation and introductive uh, video. So just give us a minute about the technicalities. Costa, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our dream. A dream that began back in 1970 in Palo Alto, California, USA. DHI Global Medical Group was the vision of a man who wanted to offer permanent sophisticated solutions to hair loss sufferers from around the world. Konstantinos Giotis forged an idea that led him on a lifelong journey that was meant to raise the bar for the highest standards in hair restoration. From the humble beginnings back in 1970 in a small office in a small city in the USA, his dream became a reality and the reality became a worldwide empire. In 1982, the first DHI clinic was established in Athens. It was here that DHI introduced a new, revolutionary technique to the world. DHI's new slogan conveys a sense of the guaranteed outcome and hair quality in the most simple and direct way. <laughs> next years, DHI Global Medical Group has already become a pioneer in hair restoration, and during its annual meetings, Greece was the destination of many 
well-known professors known worldwide to meet, discuss, and present the latest innovations. In 1996, DHI Athens was the first clinic in the world to receive an ISO certification, and this still remains unique. As even today, no other clinic of hair restoration in the world has ever achieved such recognition. The constant research and efforts for development had just started. 2002 saw the inception of the FUE method, which was introduced and performed in all DHI clinics going forward. In 2005, the VIP clinic in Lavrio became the most famous hair transplant destination for hair loss sufferers around the globe. In 2007, the London clinic established its presence and shortly after received the CQC award. In the centre of London, it has become the attraction point of many VIPs. In the years to follow, the DHI Global Medical Group clinic opens in places such as Hong Kong, Mexico and Kuwait, while India became the biggest market in Asia, opening a staggering 16 DHI clinics around the country. Later on, Glasgow, Manchester, Paris, Portugal, Morocco, Belgium, Panama, Sydney, Dubai and other locations were added to the DHI global family. 2009 was the year that the DHI direct method was introduced by Konstantinos Giotis, a minimally invasive technique which permitted the implantation of the hairs to be realized without recipient holes, resulting even more natural results. In 2010, DHI Global Medical Group proudly opened the first ever educational academy in London, the London Hair Restoration Training Academy. This allowed for the training of all medical staff interested in joining the industry. In 2017, DHI Global Medical Group introduced the DSA and launched a new era on the prevention and diagnosis of hair loss with the innovative DNA hair biology test and the hair psychology test both developed in cooperation with world-known professors of the University of Athens. At the same time, during the second international conference of the World Institute of FUE, Konstantinos Giotis was listed among the seven most important reformers in the history of hair restoration, the only European on the list. In 2018, Konstantinos Giotis was awarded by the University Claude Bonnet in Lyon, France for his contribution to the courses and at the Medical School of the University of Athens for his lifelong contribution to the field of diagnosis, prevention and treatment of alopecia and of hair and scalp disorders. In 2019, DHI Global Medical Group was the winner of the International Expansion Award at the European Business Awards. Today, with the strength of more than 250,000 delighted patients, the largest medical team and the most sophisticated treatments available, as well as 75 amazing clinics around the world, the DHI Global Medical Group celebrates its 50 years golden anniversary. Our dream has become a reality, and now more than ever we must continue to strive forward. So, follow our vision to change the world through hair research, education, and innovation. So, with any, no any further ado, as you saw through this video, uh, this is a short, uh, a long history actually, not a short, but nothing will happen without the vision of uh, the founder of DHI Global Medical Group and president of uh, London Hair Restoration Training Academy, which is actually the academy that are collaborating with Lyon University, uh, Mr. Konstantinos Yotis. Let me introduce you, uh, introduce you, the founder of the DHI Global Medical Group, Mr. Yotis. Merci, uh, Angela. I think I know who he is. <laughs> You saw him uh, once. Bonjour, bonjour. Uh, it's a grand plaisir to communicate with you. And I congratulate Professor Bojalal and Professor Yves Kassas for the grand effort 
pour l'éducation des docteurs dans le fil de hair restoration. So, I used to speak French, <laughs> I'll try to remember. And so let's go to start with the presentation of what DHI does today. Step by step, what we, okay, please show us. The DHI diagnostic procedure has three steps. The, the psychological examination, the dermatological examination, and the trichological examination. The first step, as we said, is the psychological examination with this specialized questionnaire that the patient fulfills, and then we can see the psychological aspects, and if it's needed, we can use also the psychologist from our clinic. The second step is the dermatologic examination for which we use this specialized camera to take pictures of his skin and the different areas of his hair, as we see here and evaluate if he has any skin issues and if he can or can't do the procedure. The third step is the trichologic examination, which has also two smaller steps. The first is again to use the specialized camera to examine the donor and the recipient area and see these areas, density and what we can take and what we can expect. To be even more specific, we use also the trichogram for which we take the forceps, 20 hair follicles, and then we examine them under the microscope to evaluate the anagenic, catagenic, and telogenic hair follicles. And so we can be specific about the percentage of the follicles that we can use and we can expect. So with these three specific tests, we can complete the DHI diagnostic procedure and we can say that this way we can use, we can do a full medical test of the patient. The DHI diagnostic procedure has three steps. The dermatologic examination of the donor and the recipient area and in this step, uh, my colleague can assist us. I think this is the special micro camera and uh, we do two steps, one on the donor area, central part of the donor area, we examine one centimeter square in the central part and then the lateral part of the donor area and then we examine the recipient area. Uh, this time we have to see the frontal part, so we do two procedures, two pictures. So this is it, and uh, we have the images of the here on the desktop. As you can see, this is the central part of the donor area. He has a strip and the lateral part of the donor area, and this is the central part of the zone and the first year line. Okay. I think we lost the sound, uh, Costa, but uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you, Mr. Yotz. Okay. I think this first part that we saw, we call DSA, Diagnostic System Evaluation. Perhaps DSA is the most important part of the hair transplantation. Because with the wrong diagnosis, the wrong design, the wrong distribution, the wrong planning, you will have not a good result. And all this DDD I just mentioned, they're part of the diagnostic system. The rest part that you see now, it's very easy compared to diagnosis. So let's show Costa how we do the DHI then. I mean, your care implantation, like this, and how advanced it's compared to FUE and FUG. You will show us some videos. And then look at Dr. John is taking out the hair follicles. Uh, as you can see, it is pain free. This is the extraction part of the DHI technology, how we 
welcome you here as well. Hi, I'm Dr. Philippe Magistretti from Montana in Switzerland. I'm doing today my unshaven session at BHI Athens, an unforgettable experience I wholeheartedly recommend it. Yeah, as you can see, this BHI implantation can be done shaven or unshaven or what you call marine character. I have another video for you showing body hair transplant. It's also Hello, my is I'm here at can be done in some cases when they don't have a very good donor area on their head. Um, it's completely painless, can't feel a thing. Um, so later, it will be used for the direct hair implantation. I'm here with Dr. Alex. So, yeah, can't wait to see the result. Uh, Dr. Bill, are we going to see another live session or just videos? I think we will focus on videos. And as long as we finish with the videos that we have prepared already. If there's a possibility to just have a quick view of an actual session, we will also be appreciated. Okay, so give us uh, two, uh, two minutes and no, we no, will be perfect. We will be upstairs for the videos. Perfect. Okay, I know it's a bit confusing. Let's go back to FUT, FUE, and DHI Costa because I think things will be made clear. What's the difference between FUT, FUE, and DHI? I think most of the doctors here know FUT is follicular. Uh, unit transaction, right? If we have a piece of the FUT, any photographs uh, post FUT? Okay, now here on the FUT, you can see on the left how a strip is removed and then divided under the microscope and eventually becoming graft. Okay, and then as you can see here on the right, those grafts finally they make holes and they place them with forceps. So basically that's FUT and funny enough, this technique still exists in Europe, in America, everywhere. Let's go quickly to FUE. The difference on the FUE is that the pulse extracts rather than as a piece of strip, but the placement is again the same as FUT. And let's go to DHI. DHI it's more sophisticated than both of them because we extract precisely the special uh, punch and we place them without holes, without forceps, directly with the implanter. As you can see, the implanter controls the depth, the direction, and the distribution design. This was also telling you how the DSA, the diagnosis, is connected with the placement. Because the placement is the most important part for the hair restoration is the placement of the hair that you will see for the rest of your life. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, I think we covered this first. Anything else? No, that's fine. I think we briefly explained the direct DHI hair implantation. Direct in is a new technology that we will present to you next year. So this is a further advancement from direct hair implantation to direct in. This is something to work in the future. <clears throat> okay, now Einstein will tell us about this VR training yeah. uh, for the Academy for Doctors and whether it can actually train doctors or not. Okay, thank you first of all, Mr. Giotis, because you ex explain a lot of things and I think it's going quite confusing in the market and in the educational system what is the perfect treatment that the doctor needs to apply to his patient if he cares not only about the result but most of that about the safety of their patient. And since you are all of you the attendees, you are doctors, uh, as I mentioned before, the DHI Global Medical Group in collaboration with London Hair Restoration Training Academy uh, we are focusing in the education and how we make the hair transplantation um, techniques to be safe first. So before we start operating, it's very important to get the proper education. 
So what we can do in order to avoid mistakes, what we can do in order to avoid any results that might harm even the psychology of our patients. Through the, the new uh, innovative VR training simulation systems, we are providing training and education without the fear of doing any mistakes in the head of our patient. So through this innovative system, through this device, the simulation device, where you can see also you have a, a device in the room that you are. I think Fabienne and his assistant can show you at the end of the webinar what exactly is this device. You will have the opportunity through this system to get a, a simulative environment, a training through a simulative environment, sorry about that. So uh, you will start with the diagnosis first, how to do a proper diagnosis. There is summative material into this device and into 10 days you will be able to understand first of all which kind of alopecia your patient will have, which kind of uh, session will need and then after you complete the diagnostic part of your training, the online training, you can focus... Yeah, sorry to interrupt you, it's very confusing what exactly does this thing do. Okay, uh, this provides a simulation environment to the doctor while they are using these uh, glasses, the VR glasses, and they feel that they are in a, an environment of hair transplantation session room. By wearing these glasses and the specific it's a, it's headsets... It's a 3D, a 3D virtual training program. Exactly. Okay, maybe I made... Okay, let's go to Dr. Biru, thank you very much. I think we have a video also for the VR that we can show after the Dr. Biru presentation. Okay, let's go. Alors, bonjour tout le monde. On est dans la salle de, de DRC. Ici, c'est la première partie de... C'est la partie de l'extraction. On extrait, en fait... Je vais faire un peu de focus. On extrait les greffons un par un. What we see is only the local anesthetic now. Yes, just one second. And tell us about the physiology for all. So, our colleague here. I'm She's using a saline solution for the skin. And now, with our unique and single use. A electric punch holder. She is cutting the grafts all around, and then with her forceps, she will remove all the grafts one by one. You will Can see now. The, the wireless, the wireless of course, of course, of course. But wireless is an innovation, so we keep it for the end. And the now, as you can see. Now, as you can see, we are extracting the grafts one by one. And Is it by just, doctor or by technician? It's only by doctors. In DHI, it's always and only by doctors. Here you can see that we have the marine safe that uh, Mr. Giotis just uh, told you a while ago. And now I would like to show you our instruments. That's all what we use for a hair transplantation. Our forceps, scissors, our single-use punch holder, and there is a single-use punch how, how, how as much, well. How much do they cost? <laughs> it depends. <laughs> if I it think is about for the DHI members, something like this. Yes, exactly. So this is our uh, extraction uh, part. Uh, excuse me, uh, doctor. Uh, does the patient speak English? Uh, not really. Okay. You can see it's pain free. Okay. Yeah, but you cannot hear any. Oh, so everything is good. Okay. 
Okay, I think that was a good brief of the extraction process. Thank you. Okay, let's go back to the VR video. And we go back to the VR video, I, I, I want to again repeat the importance of the diagnosis. Because we, we have some papers also, we're going to present, we publish the, the importance of how to connect psychology, psychology, and dermatology. And this connection can only be defined during the diagnostic process. One of the most common questions I ask my patients, or the patients at the HI, is not what, not where, not how, but why. Because only why you understand his needs, you understand whether you can provide his needs. Let's go to the VR. Okay. I think you can also share my screen. So what do you see here, Angela? Here we see exactly what is going to be the training program while someone is wearing the VR glasses what the doctor can estimate and what kind of practice can do through these Oculus devices. How many degrees and how many hair transplants, the hair zones they need to extract from each area. When it's green the light, that means that he's using properly the device and he's doing great. When the red light is open, that means that there are many mistakes so they need to improve the, the degrees of his hand the way that he's going to extract and how to handle the instruments. So I think, Costa, we can go back to the presentation. This is a, just a short introduction about the VR. Of course, many of you that you have... Uh... It looks helpful for training doctors. It looks helpful, I think. Sorry? It looks helpful. I, I, cannot, I cannot... It looks like it can help training. In hair transplantation, sorry, Mr. Yotz, I can understand. I said the VR is part of the training program. Exactly. But the VHI have three, three steps of training. Exactly. One is online, online, you just read and write. Second is you watch the VR. And third is you, you go to live sessions. One, two, three. Is that correct? Exactly. Uh, prior to the virtual reality, it's... Mr. Yates, yeah, just a moment to fill up, to complete my sentence. Uh, prior to the virtual reality training, you need to finalize the online, as Mr. Yates mentioned before correctly. And then after the virtual reality training, you can do also your live hands-on training, either in the university, either in private live workshops in London or in Athens. But this is a different step of the training after your master course now with Lyon University. Sorry, Mr. Yutz. Okay, we can move on. And one more new uh, training that we can provide as an academy is the PRP training. Through this system, the online training that we can provide you credentials to sign in. Through this training, you can get a certification from our academy that you complete successfully the online course of the PRP training and we will provide you also the kits in order to, the DHI kits, in order to start uh, providing the services of PRP in your own clinics. For further, you can, we can see a video about how the training will be. And uh, for further information about this training, you can uh, just visit our website, uh, www.hairrestorationtraining.com, but all those information can be provided by the Lyon University as well. So now we see that uh, the doctor is uh, taking the blood from the patient. I don't know, Costa, if we have a sound in this video. No, there's no 
ultrasound on this video. Okay, I will explain then step by step. Or Dr. Biro can also explain. Yes, exactly, Adela. As you said, we take the blood. Then Costa Ibu can go a little bit fast forward. We centrifuge the blood in order to take only the platelets, the plasma. And now, as you can see, it is divided. So we can extract the rich part. That's exactly what our colleague is doing. And then we do a lot of small injections with very small needles all over uh, all over the head. Dr. Biru, can you please explain us why someone to choose the DHI PRP kit and uh, the profits of the mesotherapies as well for the patient? Actually, our PRP kit is, uh, uh, helps a lot in the hair growth. Uh, we have done a lot of researches on this and uh, uh, it helps all the problematic, let's, let's say, areas. Uh, it's like the best food that we have for the hair. It's better than anything else, than simple products, than uh, other PRPs. Uh, uh, it is full uh, enriched with everything that we need in order to have the best hair growth. Okay. So, apart from the treatments... And so, as the, before we go to uh, instant hair, which means hair replacement in anyway, the hair systems, uh, I didn't understand how much each PRP kit costs, if you buy just one. If they buy yes. one, it's going... It's, the, it's a yes. special yes. price. One yeah. thousand, excuse me, one thousand. 30 kits. How much can I buy one? 36 euros per uh, kit. Okay. 36 euros per PRP kit. Okay. Exactly. But this is a special price for the attendees. Yeah, it's a package. If you do it, if you do 30, you get it for that. Exactly. Okay. That's a great price because most kids cost 150 euros. Exactly. Okay, so apart from the treatments uh, that we provide, apart from the trans hair transplantations, the PRP treatments that we show you, uh, one more uh, department that it actually helps a lot, the patients that they are not have, uh, they have contradictions in order to get a hair transplantations, and their medical history is not actually the proper one in order to get a medical therapy, it's the instant hair systems, the DHI prosthetic systems. We can see a video, sorry Costas, you just turned the, um, the PowerPoint a little bit faster, but anyway, we will see now a video how we can create and how we can prepare a prosthetic hair system for a patient that he cannot have a hair transplantation, but he needs and he wants to have hairs. We can see that how happy is this uh, patient before and after the service that he get from the DHI hair systems department. Mr. Yotz, would you like to say something about these uh, slides? This is, not for doc this is not for doctors to do. This is a non-medical procedure, but doctors should know, so in case they have patients, who are unable to have a hair restoration, they should recommend them this option which works very well. Exactly. Amir is with us now. Amir, tell us about your experience. I think you're Hello, everybody. Here. How are you today? Thank you Hi. for having me. Um, I'm on my way back from the airport, so sorry that I'm without any camera now. Uh, so, uh, hair transplant, meaning that I know how the results should be look, how the results are looking now, two years later, and I have to say that the simulation looks amazing. It looks, actually it looks like, uh, like my head now, like after the transplantation. I'll try to 
So my my hair is a little bit longer now. I would like to open my camera so you will see. I don't know if you can see me. We can see you, Mir. This Thank is me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, as you can see, uh, it's it looks quite good. My hair is is a little bit longer now, but the simulation looks amazing. It actually simulates how how I look now after the transplant, meaning it's a very good tool uh, for helping the salesperson and the uh, and all the team to help the patient be more relaxed and be more aware of the uh, final steps of the process of the final results. And actually, I tried it on one of my patients, and he was amazed, and he was so happy that he book the date on the same day. So actually, it's a great tool, and I truly recommend working with it. But we should do it very carefully, because the results on the simulation may not be exactly as it will be. So we have to be careful. Okay. So to, to, to better... The, to Thank you, Mir. Here, what you see here is a mirror before his hair transplant. On the small photo on the right, when he spoke, it was today. But the, the photo here is a simulation. It's a DHI lab simulation system so that we can show the patient the future. But like Amir said, you have to be very careful when you show this technology that is done precisely and within reasoning. Okay, so yes, we show bef uh, the result before, but you can see that this is a tool that you can use also at your own place. And How much does it cost, Angela? I don't have the specific price list, Mr. Yotz, at the moment. Okay, we'll announce it soon. It's a, it's a new technology, yeah. Yeah, because we have just started, and I think it's also very important, as Amir mentioned before, to remark that... With this tool, we can show to our patients how they will be. Uh, it's precise, but sometimes we need to, to see that the result is better than this one that uh, the picture shows, because Amir mean, has longer hair right now than he used to have. Okay, let's go to London. We have a question. We can ask him directly what he thinks about the uh, I think that we need to step at the moment with the London and to go to Dr. Machukas that he is now in a diagnostic okay, so department. Okay, so we are in our diag uh, diagnostic department. We have okay, a live PSA. Uh, Dr. Bill, is it live or is it video? It is live. No, 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 it's not a video. You see, I can okay, hear it. So we have our medical director here, Dr. Machukas, and he's going to do a live diagnosis for you. We will start, they have done already the psychological part, so now we will go on in the trichogram and we will do everything about trichology. Dr. Matsukas. So we have uh, Mr. Grant, who is a little serious, he's three years old, and he's coming back after the first session that he had 20 years ago. In order to cover the rest of the B and C door, and we see the patient's face first and the hair loss. And uh, we trying to see what kind of what situation is the donor area and what we can do for now. So we have this, and uh, now we go on also with the the whole test. Okay. Can you pull up the color here so we can see the color area? Excuse me, I cannot hear? Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. So, the color area is... No, no, show us the color, not the doctor's uniform. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, it's a very thin hair, but uh, dense. And the short area, because it's okay. just six to seven so centimeters us, only, right? Show okay. us again. Okay, no, just hold there for a second, please. How many graphs does she have there per square centimeter? Just a moment now, we talk, uh, Lenny. 
Just a moment only to see the screen because we have it. Most people have about 150 hairs per square centimeter. That means about 80 grams. So here we have the sign also from an old street. Now, this part of the DSA, when you have to measure the size of the Τάσο, μπορείτε να βγείτε λίγο μιούτ. Τάσο. Τάσο, μπορείτε σας παρακαλώ να πείτε λίγο μιούτ. Ναι, Τάσο, σας ακούμε. Οκ. The next step, I think that it's uh, better to show about the documentation and the protocols that we follow in DHI. I think Dr. Vasya Biru can That's explain exactly us. That's exactly what I'm doing, actually. Okay. As you can see, our patient's file is a file with everything. Everything is included. So, we have the personal questionnaire. Everything that we are doing with the micro camera we write it down in our alopecia test. Here are actually the psychological aspects that we talked about before. Very important for us, health questionnaire. We need to know about their health condition before proceeding to a hair transplantation. And then of course, it, it's the consent form in order to proceed to any treatment regarding DHI. And at the end, when all the treatments are done, we have our evaluation form because for us it's very important to get always better and better. <coughs> okay, and it's very important to explain to the doctors that uh, since uh, we show you that we have many clinics around the globe, all those protocols and all those documentations as actually the same we follow in every clinic, either it's in DHI Spain, either it's in DHI India, either it's in DHI Athens. So with this way, we guarantee that the safety and the hair transplantation protocols will be followed as needed. Dr. Bill is showing actually now the protocols that needs to be followed during um, the hair transplantation, the running of a clinic, the hair transplantation process, the diagnostic department, and all those material is also included in our online platforms, in our online training platforms that we mentioned before. So, uh, Dr. Bailey... Once again, mm -hmm. I need to, as uh, Mrs. Cerga said already, everything is under very, very strict protocols so that we guarantee the same result all over the world for all our patients. As you can see, we have huge books with our SOPs, and the most important for us is the single-use instruments that we are using for every session, and they change from patient to patient. Russia, what do you mean single-use? We use them only once for one patient, and with, then we destroy them. I feel sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, our founder actually and our president is very generous. That's why we can do it. <laughs> okay, I have to find the founder. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let's go to the next level. The next level is actually that we, as we mentioned before, that we have many locations around the globe. Of course, we are in the Europe. And uh, Costa, can you share also some new upcoming clinics that we will uh, would like to mention that they are a member of the DHI Global Medical Group from now on? Down. Dr. Biro, that is also the Global Medical Director and the Franchise Manager, she can also present us the new 
locations. It's Stockholm, Iceland, Toronto and Brazil. We're very proud about uh, those new collaborations. And uh, also for those that they would like to keep up with the innovations and the new technologies, we would like to invite you to the annual Academy Masters Meeting 2023 that will take place in Greece uh, at Cape Sunio Resort at the uh, Sunio area on 1st of July, on Saturday 1st of July. For those that would like to attend, you can just send us an email. The contact details of the Academy are on the website as well. I think, Mr. Yotz, that we need to sum up right now. Uh, well, the question is if, if, we have, if there are any questions or comments from the participating authors. Yeah, of course. So I think it's the best uh, time now to, for you to do some questions if you have, because there's a lot of topics that we mentioned. So if anyone have any question, we cannot hear you very well, but I don't know who will uh, help us there with the sound from your side. Fabienne? Okay, we have also many participants uh, from um, the Academy. Uh, Dr. Kabir, Ali, Magnus, all, all those. Um, we have many participants. If someone would like to ask something, you can just chat on us or raise the hand. Okay, let's go to the last slide, uh, Costa. Costa, can you read it? Sure. So for those who cannot see the screen, it says it's been said that imitation is the highest form of flattery, and yet the AI has proven particularly hard to imitate. Of course, that hasn't stopped our competitors from trying. Still, the fact remains that our legendary obsession for quintessential Quality simply cannot be imitated overnight. Quality that speaks to those who know. I personally want to congratulate Professor Krasas and Professor Machalal for the continued effort to highly educate doctors in hair restoration. We at DHI are also committed at this great vision. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It was a nice meeting. Okay, so I think that uh, I cannot hear anyone from the other part, unfortunately. I can see the doctors, but I don't know if there is anyone from the organizing committee of the webinar. And we, we would like to thank you once more about this uh, attendance and this participation. Uh, the, whole, the whole medical team of uh, the DHI, Dr. Biru, Dr. Matsukas, we would like to thank you. Mr. Yotis. Once again, uh, the steps and the presentation, it was, I think, enlightening for those for us and uh, hopefully for the attendees as well. Would you like to say a few words or we will close up? We look forward to see you July 1st at Cape Sunio with Tamir Athens. July 1st at 9 a.m. We expect to see you all there. Okay. Thank you so much. For any questions, you can just uh, email to us uh, at infopapakilirta.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.